So it turns out that the Earth is rotating like this. This is true. Um, and in fact, I'll, uh, I guess I'll write that down. I may uh, erase it, but the Earth is rotating in this direction. Um, uh, I'll put rotation. But anyway, the Earth is rotating on its axis. It's really rotating from the North Pole like this around its axis. And um, the moon is rotating also in the, I'm right in the same direction, even though the pictures I'm using here are not exact. So the moon is rotating um, as well. But the moon is traveling on an orbit, I'll go ahead and put it like this, an orbit around the Earth, right? And so the moon is rotating like this, right? So if the moon rotates really, really, really fast, like really, really, really fast as it goes around the planet, then we're still going to see the entire moon. You see, because if it's rotating so fast as it goes around, you see how it's making all these revolutions? Eventually, somebody on the Earth is going to see the backside of the moon if it rotates really, really fast. Let me go back to my little start point right here. If the moon, however, rotates very slow, very slow, then over time, we're still going to see all sides of the planet. I'm rotating it. I'm rotating it, but very, very, very slow. So you see what's going on? We've... we've uh, if you rotate it really, 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 really slow, eventually you can see the whole, uh, the whole circumference of the whole uh, uh, side, the whole, both faces, both sides of the moon there as well. There is a point where we call it tidal locking, where the moon rotates at exactly the same um, uh, rate as the uh, as the orbital period of the moon that goes around, of the moon that goes around the Earth. In other words, it rotates in such a way that one side of the moon, look at this arrow, is facing the Earth at all times. Now, the people up here only see the same face, right? And I'm still rotating it, but I rotate it in such a way that this arrow right here is still facing the Earth. I'm rotating the moon. I'm physically turning it like this, right? in such a way that this arrow always faces the Earth, like this. Now, the first time you learn about this, it seems like, wow, what a coincidence, wow, that it rotates at exactly the right rotational speed so that the moon's orbit, which takes 27 days around the Earth, takes 27 days for the moon to go all the way around the planet Earth, it rotates at such an angular rate so that that uh, one side always faces the Earth. That is so weird. It's such a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. It's because of physics. It's because of the forces acting on the, uh, on the moon. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.